Hello everyone, welcome to Wi-Fi Recon 2. My name is Rick Farina, and today I'll be your instructor for Pentester Academy on this lab walkthrough. We're going to start off, as we always do, on the main website and click on Member Access. Then we're going to go over to the Attack Defense Labs. And we're going to scroll down the left side of this page to find Wi-Fi Attack and Defense and then Reconnaissance. Today we're going to do the Wi-Fi Recon Lab number two. And hopefully I can remember a thing or two about how aircraft works. I'm going to pick the server for my region. Please pick your region. Hit Run. Then you just need to wait a moment for the lab to get itself ready. Each one of these is provisioned separately. It takes just a second to make sure that we're all in our own little instance. While that's loading, today we're going to be figuring out a few fun things. How many Wi-Fi networks are present on channel 1? Which Wi-Fi network is using the WPA PSK security scheme on channel 1? Find the hidden SSID and tell us what channel it's on. BSSID of the SSID Evil Corp. How many BSSIDs are present for Evil Corp? And what are the MAC addresses of the clients connected? So let's see what we can't learn today. To start off, normally I like to increase the a little bit. I like to check my hardware and make sure everything's working. Uh, on these lab instances, there is no Airmon NG right now. But it does give you a nice helpful, in case you forget how to put the card into monitor mode manually, it gives you a nice warning on how to do that. Uh, so first things first, we're going to check and see, do we have a Wi-Fi card? Yes, we do. We have WLAN 0. It is in managed mode. And that's good. We're going to take a look and drop the card. And then we're going to put it into monitor mode. And then we're going to set it back up. Now we have a device in monitor mode. We can double check and confirm. We saw before it was in mode managed and now it is in mode monitor. So ready to go, ready to have a little bit of fun. Uh, first things first, AeroDump NG is the tool of choice for these kinds of things usually. And today we're going to run pretty heavily through AeroDump. And I think it's really important to discuss the, the help function. This is where you learn basically everything about how a tool works. And if you've never typed dash dash help, um, start now. It's definitely the only way to remember most of this stuff. I like to use long form flags to help remember things, but uh, just referring to the help is really the, the magical way to do it. So looking at our first question, how many Wi-Fi networks are present on channel one? We're going to do it nice, real simple, arrow dump ng channel one. WLAN 0. Okay, This is going to put the card onto one channel and it's going to start sniffing and our goal is to figure out how many Wi-Fi networks are here. So being a fairly impatient person, it's been six seconds, looks like three, one, two, three. Access points are listed at the top, clients are connected at the bottom. Uh, so we're just going to hope that I'm right. We'll move over here to verify flags and how many are present on channel one? The answer is three. Looks like that's the answer we're looking for, so we are good to go. We will move on to our second question, which is which Wi-Fi network is using WPA PSK? Now there's two ways to see that. Uh, number one, you can just kind of look at this. Uh, so we're, we're asked about channel one WPA PSK. We can see right here encryption, this one's WPA, TKIP, pre-shared key. This one's open. This one's WPA2, CCMP, PSK. We were asked how many were using WPA1, and uh, that's, that's this guy here. So let's look at one more way to do that, however. I think it's really important to do these kind of filters as well. So not only can you say, I want to just be on one channel, you can say, I want to uh, sort and see only things on WPA1 or WPA2 or whatever it is that you're really looking for. So in this case, we found here's one device on channel one 
with WPA1. And we can copy that right back to our answer sheet. And we can verify that that is correct. Okay. Next one, a hidden SSID is present in the vicinity. What channel is it operating on? Okay. So now we're looking for something different. Now we want to see kind of everything, right? So rather than picking a specific channel or a specific encryption type, we're going to drop all that out of here and we're going to do band ABG. By default, AeroDump only sniffs on the 2.4 gigahertz channels. We want to sniff on all the channels because we have, we have no idea where this particular uh, device is. So here we've got a bunch of SSIDs showing up. Uh, Evil Corp, Covert, Evil Corp, Evil Corp. And we've got this one right here, length zero. Uh, when AeroDump sees a hidden SSID, one of two things happens. It'll say length and then have an actual number. Uh, some access points will send a certain number of null characters to show you this is a hidden SSID. Others won't do that. They'll just send one null character, and that's what we see here. So this device right here is our hidden SSID. And the question is, which channel is it operating on? So we go over here to the channel column, and it is on channel 6. We go back to our form, and we type in channel 6. There we go. All set. Next, what is the BSSID of the SSID Evil Corp operating on channel 1? All right, so back to channel 1, but not just channel 1. We can actually go through here and add another filter set. So we're going to filter not just on channel 1, but ESSID Evil Corp. So now we're only going to see things on channel 1 called Evil Corp. And it's going to filter down for just those things. And we've got SSID or ESSID right here. And then we've got the BSSID, which is our question. We'll just grab that out of the output and we'll throw it in here. All right. Question five, how many BSSIDs are present for the SSID Evil Corp in total? Please provide the number. So this is kind of fun. We will go through here and instead of having channel one, we won't have any channels at all. Okay. And we're going to search and see how many we find for Evil Corp. See, we've got three right now. And as you can see, that's, that's definitely finding a bunch of stuff. But this is the most common mistake uh, I find when people are using AeroDump. By default, it only does the 2.4 gigahertz channels. And a lot of things can be missed. Uh, this is being recorded in the year 2020. Uh, even if it was 1999, you would still find that 802.11a is actually a thing and it's really helpful to find everything on all of the channels. It does take a tiny bit longer to scan a lot more channels, but you'll find a lot of stuff, especially 802.11ac and things like that that are only in 5 gigahertz, are just not going to be visible if you're not scanning all of those channels. So we give this a moment to scan through all of the channels. And we make sure that it's doing a good job. But now instead of three, we've got one, two, three, four, five. We found two new access points that we didn't see previously. So if we're super lucky, the answer is five. And as it turns out, there are in fact five. Last question, what is the MAC address of the client associated with SSID Evil Corp? Well, we're here looking at Evil Corp. And we're seeing five different channels that all have an evil corp. What we're not seeing is any clients at all. That's actually pretty normal. Uh, clients do a lot of time with power saving and things like that. So you don't always see them. What helps a lot to filter down and find them is to lock to a specific channel. Or in this case, I have no idea where the clients are. So we're going to do just the channels that I care about. So all of these different channels have evil corp on them. And even though the display is going to look immediately exactly the same, the data that we're getting is going to be different because now we're not wasting time on channels that we don't need to be on. Only the channels that have this access point are of interest to me. I want to see the clients for these access points. So I'm just going to hang out on a few less channels and see if we can't find that client device. All right. You can also, instead of doing this, you can do one at a time and you can spend a little bit more time just kind of passively listening. There are 
no great ways to patiently wait for clients. You just kind of have to patiently wait for clients. You can send a bunch of deauth frames and things like that in the hopes of eliciting a client response. But for a lot of reasons, you don't really want to do that. Number one, it's really noisy and kind of rude to drop everybody off of the access point just so you could enumerate hosts. Uh, number two, it doesn't always work. Uh, you get a lot of these phones and things like that that go into battery saving mode, power saving modes that are very, very aggressive and you won't actually get anything from them because they'll be asleep and they won't get the deauth packet. So they'll more or less just ignore it. Uh, so patience tends to be your best virtue here. And here we find here is a client probing for evil corp, not just probing, but he is successfully connected to a BSSID of D2A44F. And that looks suspiciously like this one right here. So this is our client that we're looking for. We go back here. What is the MAC address of the client associated with Evil Corp? It is that. And with that, we have found all of our things for today. So I hope that you learned something. I hope that uh, you'll use the AeroDump help feature. And I hope that you've got some basic flag sets of really helpful things to sort on and, and things like that. So remember, if you didn't test it yourself, it doesn't work. And I will see you next time. Thank you.